who belong. Partners in the trade sector in the Barbados and other Caribbean islands are now in a better position to negotiate trade deals. This is thanks to the Hub and Spokes 2 program, which was created by the European Commission, the Commonwealth Secretariat, and the ACP Group of States. It is aimed at enhancing the trade capacity of the ACP Group of States through closer regional integration and increased participation in international trade. Speaking on the sidelines of the program's knowledge sharing workshop earlier this week, Foreign Trade Minister Senator Maxine McLean says the program has provided necessary technical support to those in the trade sector. One example would have been the, AC, um, the ACP negotiating within that negotiation, sorry, with the European Union and within the framework of the ACP, as you know, CARICOM, and with the addition of the Dominican Republic, which then became CARIFORUM, we would have negotiated an economic partnership agreement. Technical support would have been offered to do that. So within the context of developing a framework for negotiating, developing individual officials' capacity to negotiate. Senator McLean says there is a heavy focus on helping the lesser developed countries while acknowledging that Barbados has a higher classification. She, however, hopes that Barbados' special circumstances will not be ignored. We may have done very well in terms of development when compared to other countries in the, in the other regions the Africa and Pacific elements of the ACP. But we also, in the Caribbean, are highly vulnerable to a number of externalities, um, economic, because we're open economy, um, but also environmental. And therefore, our belief is that as we participate in programs like this, we should be afforded the kind of support that would allow us to maintain the gains that we've had. CIBC First Caribbean International Bank has been named the best retail bank in Barbados. Leading print and online magazine, Global Banking and Finance Review, awarded the Barbados business of the regional bank in recognition of its continued commitment to excellence in retail banking. Lisa Lord reports. According to the publication, CIBC First Caribbean International Bank's commitment to retail banking, its strategic vision, organizational structure, and strong risk management all contributed to its outstanding performance for the year. The magazine went on to say that the bank has demonstrated a strong commitment to enhancing customer experience through value-added services and client surveys. Managing Director for the local operating company, Donna Wellington, says the award was testament to the commitment of their staff at all levels to go that extra mile every day to ensure they meet the varied needs of all of their clients, both in branch and online. The awards honor companies that stand out in particular areas of expertise in the banking and finance industry. Now, the bank was judged in several areas and stood out in all. Dedication to client relations, launching of new mobile banking applications, loan processes and performance, a strong corporate governance and risk management in place, a continued investment in technology and positive impact on the community they serve through financial support and volunteer efforts. CIBC First Caribbean is the largest regionally listed bank in the English and Dutch speaking Caribbean, serving over 400,000 customers in 17 markets. Lisa Lord for the Business Report. Time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. In Jamaica, Sajakor Group Jamaica Limited was the volume leader with 431,201 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, NCB Financial Group Limited was the volume leader with 148,884 shares changing hands, all for a value of $591,330.05. And here in Barbados, First Caribbean International Bank was the volume leader, trading 18,488 shares at $2.46 each.